Now we're going to show how to update an XML document. So let's say that somebody gives you a large XML document and you want to update it. Okay? Because it could be the case of metadata. Maybe your organization has a metadata document and there's just so many different types of flavors and you just want to update certain fields. Well, writing it from scratch would be a lot of work. And as we are at SAFE, we're lazy. We like to do things the easy way. So one day I said to Juan, boy, this writing of this update of these documents is hard. And Juan said, we need an XML updater. And I said, yeah, that's what we need. We need an XML updater. And so Juan and his team, they built one. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to update, take this metadata document, okay, which we'll open it here just so you can see how gloriously it is. Whoops, whoops. Okay, we're going back here. Okay, I'm getting excited. And we are going to open it with Workbench again. And we're going to say that it is a text document when Workbench comes up because I want to open it as a text document. Okay, and we're going to read it all at once. Okay, okay. And sure, we're going to go out to text file too because we're just going to write it. Okay. And we're down to number six, so we're getting to our seventh. Whew, this is going. This I knew this was going to be a race. Okay, a race for time, and we'll call it updated web dot dot xml. Okay, and there we go. Initially, it's not doing anything, but if you look at this xml document, we know we want to update it. So it turns out there's something called the xml updater. Okay, so I'm going to drop that in there. Okay. And what I have in this directory, I also have a CSV file that has a list of all, a bunch of fields that I need to update. So it has all these different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that, drag and drop that CSV file in there too. Because of course you can read multiple documents in FME. Nobody said you could only read one thing at a time. So this is an example of when we're actually going to read two separate readers at the same time. And you can read as many as you want. Um, with FME. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in here. Okay, so and I have all these fields I'm going to update. I'm not going to update them all, but what I am going to do is I'm going to update some of them. The FME um, input is here on text line data. Okay, and now I'm going to update the document. So if I look at the document, the things I want to update, let's say um, I want to update the, where's my metadata? Okay, this one here. Let's say I want to update the individual name who's responsible. So I'm simply going to grab that. I'm just going to say, well, the person I want to update is the individual name. So I'm just going to update the individual name like this. So I copy this value. Okay, so I'm going over here. And I want to replace the contents. And the path is this. Okay, now I'm going to edit it a little bit just to make it uh, path-like. Okay. But I don't have to do it much. I'm just copying and pasting. See, I barely know what I'm doing. And that's what's really has Juan scared as he's sitting watching me go here. And now the value I want to put in there, again, I'm going to grab a different attribute value. I'm going to grab um, responsible name. And I'm going to say this is the next query. Oh, did I do that right? Let's see. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay, I want to put uh, this in. I want to grab the attribute here. And I want to say a responsible name like that. Okay, now I say that's an X query. And, um, and you get the idea. I will run this. And now when I open that um, metadata document in output, okay, which was date modified, which is that one right there. Who I have six minutes left. You can see the responsible name now has changed. Okay. No, it didn't because I didn't do this. Okay, so it did not change, but now it will change. I ran it again, I think. So now 8.54, did I run it again? Yes, now it's changed to Joe Smith from from this guy over here, Johan Vlon Plosmoden, which I just probably butchered his name. But it gets you the idea. So I could replace all these fields in exactly the same way, and now my metadata file document, I'm just changing what I'm doing. I'm not actually... Um, rewriting from scratch. And so that is a big deal if you have to update metadata documents. And you could update anything. Could be the dates, could be the bounding boxes, could be anything. Okay. So that was the metadata writing example. Okay.